Moving on now, the Livestock Marketing Association holds a World Livestock Auctioneer Championship each year, and Nebraska has the most world champions of any state, nine total. A Nebraskan joined former winners at the Parade of Champions this year, and at 94 years old, the auctioneer has still got it. In this segment, Grace McDonald traveled to Broken Bow to learn how Ronnie Woodward rose as an auctioneer. Well, here we go, and what are you going to give here? I've got 128, now 21. This 94-year-old auctioneer found his chant in the pastures of Custer County. All in and all done sold. 124. With no one to listen but the cattle. And so I practiced a lot riding the pasture on a horse. You know, you could listen to it all day and not get tired of it. The 1971 world champion, Ronald Woodward, Broken Bow, Nebraska. Ronnie Woodward raised livestock with his family through the Dirty 30s until a charming auctioneer at a bull sale changed all that. He really impressed me and I thought, you know, I think I could do that. But first, the farm kid needed $125 for a two-week auctioneering class. His father took out a loan so Ronnie could learn the basics in Mason City, Iowa. Then he worked in the cattle rings in North Platte. His big break finally happened when he filled in for a sick auctioneer. So I kind of gave myself a talking to and I thought either get up there and go to work or go out, get in the car and go home. Ronnie did not go home. Instead, he was drafted into the infantry during the Korean War, but he still went to auctions when he could on the East Coast. And they wanted me to sell tobacco, but I went back where the cattle were. That's where I, my heart was. After the war, he returned to Nebraska to sell livestock and farmland. But you can't tell Ronnie's success story without mentioning his love story. To me, Ronnie had a God-given voice. You can sit there and almost bounce your leg to him. Molly Woodward, his auction clerk and wife of 66 years. Now Molly had just touched her arm. If I was going to stop, she'd write down what the bid was, knew where it was at. The couple settled in Broken Bow when Ronnie bought the sale barn with two other buyers. In their 31 years of running it, the Woodwards have seen auctions change and move online. Back when we first started, there was no speaker systems. He sold into the wind. I mean, they all did. The 1971 World Livestock Auctioneer Champion took himself out of the business in 2002. You guys put your hands together for a legend in this business, Ron Woodward. But you can't take the chant out of the auctioneer. You 10, now 11, 11, 12, For Pure Nebraska, I'm Grace McDonald.